We're looking at a close-up of the RTL SDR controller hardware setup screen for SDR Sharp. If we look at the device list, we see we're running the RA20T hardware, and we have two 2832U devices connected, labeled 0 and 1. We have two connected because we'll be doing a trunk tracking demo, and one of the limitations of each receiver is that it will process a little more than 2 megahertz of spectrum at a time. So if you're tracking a trunked system and you have a control channel and a voice channel separated by more than 2 megahertz, it's very convenient to have two or more receivers to be able to track the various voice conversations. I want to call your attention to these two boxes for AGC, automatic gain control, that are both unchecked, one for RTL and one for the tuner. These are each separate chips within the package, and the reason they're unchecked is because I find I get better results leaving them unchecked as I live in a very RF-rich environment. If I check these boxes, one or the other or both, I find that my noise floor goes way up and I'm much more prone to overload. So instead, I set the RF gain manually, and you can use this slider to do so. I usually leave it right here at about 20 dB and find that gives me the best results. Finally, we have this box for frequency correction in parts per million, and you'll note that I keep mine at zero. I'm able to keep mine at zero because of the devices I have with the thermally compensated crystal oscillators we mentioned earlier. When I used to have the older model, I used to keep this at about 19 parts per million in order to maintain accuracy.